See, see where the stairway is in the Arndale Centre? Yeah. You, to, to, the, to the left of that, it was Cromford Court. And in Cromford Court, there was the Cromford Club, which was a casino. And at the side of that, there was the Jigsaw Club. And then it changed to Heaven and Elm. So Joe Cocker, Joe Cocker's a grease bag there, 66. Yeah. Another one. This was, this was the oasis. This is where, this is where the... <coughs> The Hollies, you like the, the resident band here. How long was this that is, This is how it was in trade. Look at, look at this now. Oh, yeah. This is how it should be. Life. You said before that um, in the 60s you had a really vibrant city mm. and now it's dead. What's happened? Well, it goes down to the, 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 the mass clearances in the 60s. The same thing happened in Scotland, didn't it, when they shipped everybody to Canada? You know, it's, it's just, the, the planners have these great ideas about the, the city of the future and they take the heart of the city away. Where I live in Ancoats now, there's nothing left apart from... I, I think there's a set of toilets left in Ancoats that I remember when I was a kid. Everything else has gone. Yeah, but we, we, we're fast becoming a major tourist city. And, and the most embarrassing thing that can happen to you, ask any of the club owners, you, 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 you will come up against this. You get tourists who come to the bar half past, half past one in the morning, and we'll, we'll come in the club, and they're having a good time, and two o'clock comes, and it's, everything stops, and they come to the bar and they say, Is there any chance to finish now? You go for a license for a club. And, let, and let's say we go through the motions, of, of, uh, everything's okay, you've got, you've got your. Um, the fire's been around, the police has been around, everything's been around. You bring the magistrates, right? Who don't live in the city, do it in Winslow, Bramall. They might be masons, things they do, they might like doing waltzes. Um, uh, they, they might like being, being a, a Rotarian, you know, they might like playing golf. We don't. We like, we, we like to stay awake till five in the morning. It's just our life. You know, we, we, we need that. It's different values. Allow us our values. Give us a chance. No night, just goes on. And on and on. So it's four o'clock, everybody else is asleep except for us. We're up in Sunset Radio with Hugh and Clark, one of Manchester's best DJs, playing all night. Hugh and you're up all night. Who are you playing to? I'm not quite sure actually. Uh, I have a vision in my mind, all the people that I play to, these are people that have been listening to rap music for a long time and they've reached the spiritual stage of it. That's the sort of music that I'm playing for them. But I believe rap music is like, once you get into it, you're addicted to it and you have to stay with it and follow it and find out more about it. And the more you try to find out about it, the more you get pulled in by the inspirational phase of it. Manchester's got, got a very strong underground movement. Uh, musicians, DJs, and they, they just don't get any exposure at all. And what I tried to do is I tried to give them that exposure on the program. You know what I mean? but can you tell me also about the recent history of black clubs in Manchester? Well, they're all white owned. I don't, in my time span, there's never been sort of like a black owned nightclub in my but there never has been. I mean, there's an amazing amount of money waiting for the first person to do that. Uh, all the clubs we've ever had uh, to promote black music have always been like clubs that are at the end of their lease. You know what I mean? They started off as sort of like um, nightclubs for the mainstream white audience or whatever. I mean, you commercialize. And clubs only last so long. 
and then they die. And when they start to die, they lose the audience. And the manager sort of like say, well, you know, we've got to, you know what I mean? And it's always been the same. We very rarely have. A, and it's so sad, really. The few moments that we have had them, you know, have been very enthusiastic when we see people dressed up, but now you can come around. And it's just sad. And I'd like to, uh, I think that's one of my ambitions, actually, to work in one of them. I want to be rich, and I want to keep Manchester entertained with it. But it's, uh, it's just difficult getting them at the moment. Now six in the morning, the city is still asleep, but the day is just beginning at the airport. It's the only place to go to listen to the Stone Roses and watch the planes take off for Larnaca and Ibiza. Now you can fly direct to New York. 100 years ago, you'd go to the Castlefield Basin and you'd buy your ticket to America from this tiny booth. This transportation theme park is now a major area of regeneration. The Whitley Street Corridor is a fascinating uh, regeneration corridor for Manchester, really. Uh, what's happened is that in 1987, the Development Corporation were designated and they have actively stimulated redevelopment in this sort of urban fringe of Manchester. So can you tell me how important would you say for the city um, has its pop culture been? It's been integral in, to my mind. An integral, it's had an integral influence on the economy which has never really been recognised by the mainstream economy in Manchester. And it's only now, now that uh, Manchester music has become very established on, on an international scale that the establishment is coming around to that way of thinking. To my mind, the, the best developments are those that take time. That it's, it's sort of organic regeneration and it's, it's an evolutionary development pace rather than a revolutionary development pace. It's very difficult to use a contemporary environment within a historic setting, but when it's w used well, it actually works fantastically. One person investing in the area is record producer Pete Waterman. It was um, a church, and it's built in two levels for two reasons. The plebs went downstairs and the hierarchy went upstairs. You know, if you worked for the Lord, you went downstairs, but if you were the Lord, you were allowed to go upstairs. Where it's going to be studios and uh, office offices. You know, we've just started our own label out of Manchester, so we're running the lot. This, this office here, is a design team and they do all the sleeves, not just for us, but a lot of other people. Um, so it, it'll be like a grand record company, like a, a Manchester EMI. If you look at history, the North West has probably been the most prolific uh, spawner of talent, musically and probably artistically, that, that there is. There's something about London that, that is not quite as artistic as the North West, probably because it's all there for you and you don't have to make it where in this part of the world, you have to make the entertainment yourself. Manchester's always been a big, big, big dance area. I mean, particularly black dance area. And I think that, I mean, I came here originally, started to come here purely because of the dance culture. Because I related more to the dance scene here than I did in London. Because we're a little bit faster with our rhythms up here. And there are rumours that Radio 1 is going to move to, to Manchester. There's a very strong possibility that the Top of the Pops will move to Manchester. If it does, then that one move of Radio 1 to Manchester will change completely the record industry because there'll be no need to be in London. You know, you can fax uh, Tokyo from here, you can fax New York from here, you can phone anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter, uh, you know, where you are. And a 35-minute shuttle flight from Manchester gets anybody from any part of the world. And, of course, we've got flights into Manchester now from Tokyo, so it's an open world, really. Because if we compete in Manchester against uh, Londoners and against... New Yorkers and, you know, Europeans, we'll beat them. We'll beat them because we've got all the raw talent. But we have to do it commercially. It has to be that you, you've got to make a hit. You know, just because you're in Manchester, you know, you're not, I'm not going to give you money just to be in Manchester. Get off your fat ass and go and kill them. Manchester, home of the Industrial Revolution, is now poised to enter a new golden age. As the inner city is regenerated, the city comes to life again with the sound of industry replaced by the sound of music. 
the music which gives the city its identity. Tomorrow's celebration goes out on the town in Blackpool at the same time, 10.40. Well, I mean, it goes down to the, 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 the mass clearances in the 60s. The same thing happened in Scotland, didn't it, when they shipped everybody to Canada. You know, it's, it's just, the planners have these great ideas about the, the city of the future, and they take the heart of the city away. Where I live in Ancos now, there's nothing left apart from... I, I think there's a set of toilets left in Ancos that I remember when I was a kid. Everything else has gone. No, but we, we, we're fast becoming a major tourist city. And, and the most embarrassing thing that can happen to you, ask any of the club owners, you, 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 you will come up against this. You get tourists who have come to the... How long was this that is, going? This is how it was in trade. Look at, look at this now. Oh, yeah. This is how it should be. This is life. You said before that um, in the 60s you... See, see where the stairways in the Arndale Centre? Yeah. You, to, to, the, to the left of that, it was Cromford Court. And in Cromford Court, there was the Cromford Club, which was a casino. And at the side of that, there was the Jigsaw Club. And then it changed to Heaven and Elm. So Joe Cocker, Joe Cocker's a grease bag there, 66. Yeah. Another one. This was, this was the oasis. This is where this is where the <clears throat> the hall is. This is like the the resident band here. 